Alright, big up to everybody. Welcome back. So today, today I'm going to be talking about um, two, two issues and they are two related issues um, having to do with the, the, the elections in, in Jamaica. Anyway, before I get into it, if you're watching this, please subscribe. I'm, I'm at 841 subscribers. I need like a hundred and hundred and thirty nine I need a hundred and thirty nine subscribers because I prefer doing the live videos um, from my phone instead of just recording because for some reason it is it just feels more natural to me than just talking into the camera and then uploading so I need to be able to access the live streaming on the phone because I cancel it for people who have under 1,000 subscribers. I need to get to 1,000 so just go do that if you, if you have the time or you're interested. Just help me out. Anyway, at the, at the beginning of the, the coronavirus um, epidemic, the actions that the, 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 the um, that Jamaica was t taking seemed very, very rational and it, it just seemed to make, make sense and it appeared that the government was, was just being responsive and taking um, the right action in order to prevent this to become a widespread thing in Jamaica. So I was like, yeah, good job there. And I'm not a person who supports either, either party in Jamaica. I, I believe there are two sides of the same kind. So my observation is since the second term of Michael Manley, the Jamaica has been governed by right-wing politics. So Manley basically adopted I was forced to adapt and succumb to the pressures of the United States. So they basically followed the path that the JLP wanted Jamaica to go in. And that's the path that we have been going down since then. So the PNP government who was in, in power for how many decades, they followed that same right-wing capitalist um, agenda where they're selling out everything if everything is being privatized foreign there, there is is a lack of um, nationalism that Manly was preaching there, there was a, there's a there was a shift away from democratic socialism to just rugged individual capitalism which if you are observing the economies of today you will see that the, the, the capitalism is not working because the, 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 these economies crash and the governments have to be bailing out the big businesses and all of that so it's, a, it, it, it's definitely a failed system so anyway that's the path that Jamaica has been following since then so whether it's PMP in power, whether it's JLP in power, you're getting the same results, you're getting the same policies, you're getting the same type of politics. The only difference is um, orange and green. That's it. Because the best way to, to, to prove the point now, all right? The, the, the two things I wanted to talk about is these dub plates that dancehall artists have been doing for politicians. Pardon me if, 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 if I'm incorrect, but I have been a dancehall fan, right? A hardcore dancehall fan for decades. And it was around 
the, the, the 2010 just about a decade ago right there, there was this concert and it, it, it's even before then but it wasn't as bad then there's a concerted effort by the government to crack down and dance all, like literally destroying the dance hall economy so that's all the, the businesses and the money making that surround dance hall the tourism that surround dance hall there has been a concerted effort to just chip away at that not only that and these stage shows that are for adult Jamaican people are adult for adults to attend the politicians have been imposing their um, religious morality and these events where people cannot use ex artists cannot use expletives or they, they will be fined like we where on earth do you go to an adult show where you have adult attendees and you are going to regulate you are going to censor what these people can listen to are these children you're dealing with are adults so anyway it me really not understand how a dance hall artist can take up themselves and do a dog plate for a politician. Remember, there's no policies in any one of these dog plates. It is all about the personality of these politicians and the, the color they are wearing, trying to, 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 to prop up their um, street cred, their rep, reputation trying to make them appealing to, 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 to people based on nothing there's no policy um, objectives in any of these dub plates it just sounds like pure silliness is complete fucker complete fucker I don't know how an artist can vice such a dub plate and listen it back and say oh this is a good look for me this is a good look for Jamaican people. Like it, I mean, if 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 them dub plate are their, um, effective, right? If they are effective in, in their effective in their objectives of getting people to vote for this person versus that person, that is an indication of how low the intelligence levels of Jamaicans are or have become and how low the expectations of, of politicians are because if, if you're not discussing policies if you are not going to vote for someone based on the policies they are offering that is going to mat that are going to materially affect your life right if you're not voting based on that then you are you're literally not voting for any good reason because that is what politics is you know? politics is about the division of wealth that is where that is where it ends it starts and ends there it's about the division of wealth how is this politician going to divide up the wealth of society in your favor so it, it, it is a material exchange you're exchanging your votes for something concrete and there is nothing concrete in any of these dub plates. It's all just silly, rudimentary BS. I don't understand how, 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 how them do it. And the people them running around in them colors. Remember, it's, it's still COVID-19. This is the next issue. It's still the COVID-19 times. I remember I said at the beginning of it, I thought... The measures the, 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 the government was putting in place coming from the Prime Minister, I thought, okay, they're um, serious about keeping this thing, thing under wraps. But now, in the midst of the pandemic, you are going to call an election, the government is to call an election, the, the, the current Prime Minister shouldn't be calling an election and the opposition should be objecting to any elections being called. 
right now during this time because it's it's what it's a very serious time where we have a pandemic a virus you have a virus going around killing people getting people sick locking down society how are you going to call an election during such a time you can call it but you, you, you cannot pretend that you're a responsible person or you're looking out for the interests of the, the, the citizens because if you are going to put them at risk simply for an election something that could be delayed for a future date when the, 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 the pandemic is, is less um, critical, less serious when it when it when it's dying down, and when it's no longer a, 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 a serious issue, when it's no longer deadly, then you call it the, the, the election, and then you can get the full um, participation of citizens. But why would you risk risk people's lives? risk spreading the, 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 the virus because of an election. That that simply means you don't value the, the, the lives of the, of people. And you know what has happened since the, the, these pep rallies? Because that is what these elections really are. They are not about policies. They are not about politics. They are about a pep rally. It's a gang affiliated pep rally because none of these people are talking about policy all they're talking about is which, which side they are on who wearing clocks from who not wearing clocks who can do dance move from who can do dance move all of that cool you know for, 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 for people like you personally but that stuff is irrelevant when you're not talking about policies. When you're talking about policies to benefit the lives of people, right? When you're inspiring people by talking about policies, by getting people involved into wanting something out of politics, into expecting their lives to be bettered in a significant way. It is after that that you engage in these um, I don't even know what to call them that is when you show these little, little personal attributes that you have that you think are cool or whatever but I don't find I don't find it interesting I find it I find it insulting that is the proper term I think it's an insult to the intelligence of Jamaican people and if it and if you don't see it as an insult that means something is wrong with your perception of what politics is your understanding of what politics is and you have very low expectations of these politicians not that they have given you a reason in the past to have high expectations, but separate yourself from them and their reputation. You should have high expectations of them because guess what? If you have low expectations, that is what you're going to get from them because they aren't going to rise to a certain level if your expectation is way down here. If they know they can in impress you with these childish dog plates then that is what they are going to do they are going to they are not going to do anything more than they need to do to get your support i'm i'm back to the artist thing again now there's a thin line between between the, 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 the fun involved in, in, in these dub plates and the seriousness of what repercussions could be. Because remember, Jamaica is still a violent society and, a, and it's a violence that was instigated by these two political parties. 
with the creation of their garrison communities that they funded with guns and all of these things right so that the level of violence and criminality in Jamaica is due in large part to these politicians and their political factions that they created so when you are aligning yourself with a politician as an artist you are literally putting yourself at risk and I'm not saying you should never align yourself if because you are a citizen and you do have that right to, to have a, a political um, view but let it be worthwhile let it be oriented in, poly, in, in, in policies so you can literally state the things you can have at least 10 things that this political party or this politician supports that benefits your community so if you're going to put yourself at risk saying hypothetical, hypothetically saying the society devolves into violence once again would you risk it? Yeah, yeah. are you going to risk your safety as an artist for a politician that literally does nothing for your community at least let it be for a reason at least let it be for a reason you are going to affiliate yourself with somebody and you cannot you can't name 10 things that you that that politician is promising to do or is already doing or is going to do you cannot name it 10 things yet you will put your reputation and your safety at risk for that politician same politicians that is fighting the same music the same industry that you are a part of my expect expectation would be when a politician is calling the artist the artist would find a bunch of excuses why he cannot or she cannot do such a dog play See, I'm willing to do other things, right, for the benefit of the community. You're holding a, you're having a Mother's Day um, gathering in such and such community. All right, I'll show my face. I'll show my face to support the mothers. I'll show my face to support a back to school initiative. I'll supp support this and that. But don't become a, a stooge, don't become a footstool don't become a little dancing out for a politician then again these artists probably know that the politicians are the real dance and if they don't do as the politician says their career might be in jeopardy I can look at it that way But then what are you as a person? You have no you have no saying in what you do. You have no freedom to, to, to choose your your name and certain issues. This person controls your life. No. These artists should have refused to do any of these silly duplets for these politicians. I'm 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 so I'm disappointed to to the point of I cannot listen to the artist again after the dub plate and take that person seriously. Like I cannot stomach because this person is is is, is, is DJing or singing something that I am consuming. And then the person is doing something like that. I cannot I cannot separate the artist from these dub plates that they are doing right now so I cannot stomach up their music like I'm literally skipping over the music right now because I'm so disappointed and disgusted in how they allow themselves to be used by these politicians 
they should be they, they, they should be using their platforms to say no no elections in, in, in this time because how are you going to be telling us to social distance how are you going to be saying social distance to, 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 to be safe wear your mask to be safe but then you're going to, 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 to call an election and you know that elections deal with buses and cars and vans packed full of people wearing colors and cheering and carrying on like idiots We need, we need for, we need for, for, for raise our expectations. We need, we need for elevate what we find as, what we see as acceptable behavior from politicians, and we need. We need people to be more, what should I say, more interested in, 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 sub, in substance, in substance rather than just, just images, rather than just colors and just a person wearing a certain pair of shoes or dressing a certain way or getting ability to do a certain dance like is this person who you are bigging up in a dub plate is what have this has this person been doing to, to, to bring back life into dance hall into stage shows what has this person been doing to help your industry has it, has, has, has this person been doing anything if yes Fine. If no, why are you doing a double plate for them? Why are you supporting them in 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 this irresponsible behavior of calling for an election during a pandemic? It is maybe it's because the United States is doing it. They say, "Are right, let, let let us do it too." Let's be ir irresponsible as well. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I would like to know your your feelings about this issue of artists doing dub plates and the, the government calling an election during a pandemic. Do you think that it makes sense? Or do you think that it should have been postponed until the COVID-19 blows over? and social distancing really, um, restrictions have been lifted and people aren't put in, in, in danger of spreading the virus and contracting the virus because that is exactly what has happened. The cases are spiking now in Jamaica because of this. Now they are going to say no, it's not because of it is something else but it's like plain to see what is happening anyway please leave your comments below this is my rant on the, 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 the whole election thing in Jamaica the whole artist doing dub plays for politician the whole idea of even people not coming to the realization that the two parties in Jamaica are two sides of the same kind so if you have a, a $20 kind in your pocket it's the same $20 kind right no matter if our heads are tail it's the same kind and this is the, 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 that, that is what the two, two parties are in Jamaica they do not govern differently they govern the same way the only thing that happens is when this one is in power that one is pointing out the faults. When that one gets in power, you're going to be doing the same thing and the next one is going to be pointing out where the other one is corrupt. When the both of them are doing the same things, the same thing, they're no different. 
so I don't see why there are people so die-hearted so die-heartedly supporting these politicians politicians as if there is a difference between which one of them runs the country focus on people focus on poli and policies a politician wants a support ask him what his pol what his top five politi policies are and if those are policies that, that are of benefit to you and to Jamaica then then you can go ahead and put on your colors and go 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 wind up yourself and jump up and dance and cheer and fling up pom pom but if you can name some policies if the, if the politician can name some policies that them have that will benefit your life then either you keep your vote or you vote for somebody of some different party who is championing your cause anyway thanks for watching thanks for watching hope you have a blessed day